Being a broker means something different than being a salesperson. Find out how the broker culture is creating a different buying experience. Um, I didn't want to go with Brad's used cars. I mean, that's kind of pretty generic and, and you know, not a lot of thought process in it. But I wanted to be a broker, mostly like buying a house or buying real estate or, you know, doing kind of stocks or whatever. I want to be a person that uh, assists people in purchasing. I don't want to be the, the used car guy that's sitting there, you know, said this is Brad's used cars, we're just generating profit, that's all we're doing. I actually wanted to be a broker in the middle saying, you know, this is a good car um, and this is, you know, you can look at this car and this will fit your needs and all that. Um, I actually sit down with people, I do financial counseling, you know, I'll look at their budget and there has been many a times and many dealers disagree with this where they're eight dollars short of making a payment and I say look this is a horrible idea for you you know and then I went through the Dave Ramsey process and went through all that and just said you know this is let's get you on track here come back in six months and uh, it's one of the one of the greatest fulfillments for me being ministry minded rather than profit driven and then you know that I feel like that branches out to a lot of other sales um, just with their friends and family because they know they're going to get transparency. You know, they're going to get a real person instead of a corporation sitting there um, with a big building with, you know, mirror windows and all that. They're actually getting a person that, you know, doesn't just want to sell them a car, but actually fit their needs.